Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? Today it's the man child. Okay, so today I'm just kind of sharing some of my uh, doorstep toy hole drop offs and early sneak peek at some of the Masterverse Wave 13 series figures and the Motu Turtles of Grey Skull series three figures. So, yeah, pretty much uh, I got these from eBay. They're, these are showing up all over eBay now and some other places online. I didn't think they were supposed to come out until spring, but it's not how it seems to work with this uh, Master Universe series, whatever. Um, but some people are selling them as together in a four pack or individual, and from what I've seen anyway. But I gotta say, it's uh, pretty cool to finally get these in hand. I bought them about a week ago, and they just showed up today with our solar eclipse, so <laughs> I guess it was good luck. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd go through them real quick. We'll look at the front and the back of the art, take a yeah, quick peek, and when I get a chance, I'll um, you know go over full reviews of them all. So uh, let's take a look. All right, so first up, let's start with some Masterverse figures. Of course, the new Thunder Punch He-Man. I mean, um, yeah, pretty cool to have another He-Man variant in the line, I think, anyway. But a Thunder Punch, really popular He-Man, going back to the vintage days. Of course, the Classics May one, and as well as the Origins, which is really cool. So he's sporting some new armor, or at least redesigned for the Masterverse. He has that, I want to say, iconic shield, but I don't, I don't know if it's vac metal. I think this is the back of it. It's going to clip into the um, wrist bracer, from what I can see. And it looks like it comes with a Thunder Punch effect. Maybe the Gold Sword. Pretty cool. And looks like he's uh, battling Barbarian Skeletor as far as the front of the art. And here's a quick look at the face and head sculpt and package. So it looks like they're just using the uh, new Eternia Faker head sculpt. When I can tell. I remember um, reviewing the new Eternia Faker with that head. Because it's new. I never, I haven't seen that made yet in Masterverse. And so I can tell you'd see them making a new He-Man with that head sculpt. And here we go. That's what it looks like to me anyway. And he might come with the larger chest as well, going back to Revolution He-Man. I'm not sure yet. It's kind of, it's hard to tell. But once I re you know get a chance to review him, we'll figure it out. And here's a quick look at the back of the package. So, yeah, he comes with a gold sword. Um, okay, here's a better look at the shield. And it looks like the backpack opens. And I don't want to say he can use caps. I, I don't think so. But maybe they just give you a cap ring to pay homage, going back to the vintage. But it looks like it's a gold. I could be wrong. Once I review him, we'll figure it out. And it looks like it comes with a dual pair of the Thunder um, Punch effects. So next up, we have the new Attorney of Cyclone as part of Wave 13 series. He looks really cool. Uh, Cyclone's always a favorite. Of course, the Origins just released one not that long ago. I just reviewed him recently. And uh, yeah, he came out awesome. So cool to see one as part of Masterverse series. Um, so he has a new, like a new, yeah, translucent shield, which looks pretty neat. Uh, you can see his new chest radar. Now, it doesn't look like the Lint particular sticker like the Origins one had. It's just kind of a, I don't know, it's like a multi-layer. I don't want to say it's multi-layer. It looks like just a some type of lens glass piece with um, individual planets or something. You can see the silver tones inside it. It's kind of it's hard to tell. It doesn't, but it doesn't like uh, articulate or lenticulate like that Origins sticker from what I can see. It is cool. It's what to expect with the Masterverse aesthetics because her chests are smaller and he does have the Typical style chest like Triclops and regular He-Man had, but, you know, newly tooled just for Cyclone. It is neat to see him. Looks like he also comes with a new face mask. Check out that. They're teasing the Skelcon Warrior over here. Flipping it around. So we got a couple of our other Cyclone characters. And, um, oh, that's that Flight or Fright Fighter I remember having as a kid. So, yeah, that tease there. And flipping it around, let's a quick look at the art and back of the box. So, yeah, there's our Cyclone, right? Face mask. Um, oh, check that out. There's all some kind of, like, cyclonic fire effects that can look like they can go on the shield in both hands, similar to the um, Thunder Punch He-Man. That's awesome. All right, so moving forward, we finally have another member of the Evil Horde or Princess of Power subline, as far as the Masterverse series goes. We have Leech. Look at that. Um, so we have the art. We have uh, Scorpia over here and uh, Catra and Cat Form. I would love to see this because they never did one in Classics. I hope Masterverse does one. <clears throat> um, that'd be really cool. So, yeah, kind of a... I don't want to say redesign. Yeah, he's very Filmation inspired. That's what it seems like. But, of course, just extremely detailed. New face sculpt. Look at the teeth in there. So, he doesn't have a suction cup face, but I guess enough the way the lips are designed... Has a horde crossbow from what I can see. Um, a little bit of a larger chest. Leech was always a larger figure. You know, it was supposed to be anyway. But as far as Masterverse, eh, it's, again, it's hard to tell until we review him. Looks like he has a typical suction cups, but now teeth inside him. So pretty cool going on. And now we have a uh, tease of a door there. We have Grizzler. Of course, Grizzler's already out. And flipping the packaging around. 
So look at that. Wow. Yeah, he does look good. Maybe he does have larger um, legs and arms a little bit. Uh, looks like he has a new whip, too. It comes out of this, the horde bat. A bracer goes around his wrist there. Pretty neat. So jumping forward once again, we have the new Hordak from the Revolution cartoon. Hordak's always, uh, you know, must-have. Looks really cool with the new armor, the staff. Um, as far as a head sculpt, I mean, it looks... Yeah, I like it. I kind of wish he had the showing teeth or he gave him an alternative head. I don't think he comes with one. So it's kind of just close, you know, closed mouth head from what I can see. That looks awesome. I think I'd prefer that, but I don't know until, um, again, we review him. Um, yeah, some Horde Troopers, as far as the art, we know that Mattel, these will be coming out with Mattel Creations in spring or summer or something like that. They were announced in T's. So let's flip the package around. All right, so there's a Horde Act with his robe on. Yeah, just a closed mouth, uh, face. Man, I really wish he came with the teeth showing. But anyway, it's cool to see Horde Act. Now, jumping ahead to some Motu Origins or the Turtles of Grayskull line. So we have the new Samurai Skeletor. He looks really cool. You know, I mean, i seen some of the early promotional images. I was like, ah, another Skeletor repaint. It just, it didn't look good. But in hand, look at this. Wow. The head sculpt, the paint, the fluorescent paint. I don't think he glows in the dark. I shut off some lights before. Let me see real quick. No, he doesn't glow in the dark. So it's just kind of fluorescent. It's all fluorescent. But look at the double ramp that, like, he has, so it's nunchucks, looks like. But they're, okay, ram skulls is nunchucks, I see now. Comes with a uh, vial of ooze. Looks like they come with a new comic. Kate. Wow, what a job on him. Look at that. So got some new art in the back, of course. And these are all four figures as part of that Wave 3 series. Okay, so moving ahead, we finally get Michelangelo, the last turtle brother to complete all four brothers from the series one, two, and now three of the Turtles of Grey Skull line. Very important, right? Um, yeah, he looks really cool. I like that big smile. Michelangelo was always kind of the Joker, the Turtles or the bunch from what I remember. Sporting some new battle armor on him. I don't know if it's removable. Kind of, uh, no, it looks like it's all part of the buck from what I can see. He has his nunchucks and uh, paint it in uh, like orange metallic gold to match some of the highlights of the armor. Um, typical turtle shell. But what I think is really cool is that this He-Man hair is removable. All right. So, and it doesn't, i tell you what, person, it, uh, it doesn't look bad. Again, from images, I didn't like it. It's like, it looks ridiculous, but it looks kind of fun. It really does on him. And flipping it around, right? So there's the art in the back. Look at that. So we have Michelangelo with the, um, yeah, it looks like the, I want to say Fright Zone in the background, fighting that new Turtles of Grey Skull Horde Act that's going to be coming in the line spring or summer, who, who knows when. And it looks like we have that inside the um, Fright Zone dungeon. Looks like that Build-A-Figure, that Roboto guy that we still haven't got all the parts for. And then jumping down here, you can see. So, yep, the hair piece is removable. And I'm assuming, spinning him around again, he must have his, um, oh, I see. It's already on. Okay. That piece that's part of his uh, eye mask. It's already on. I, I thought maybe this plugged into the hole originally, and you would take the hair off, and that would plug in. But that's not the case. I guess it just sits right on top of the head. And now, moving forward once again, here's a new look at the Teela. It's part of the Turtles of Grayskull line, or Teela variant. Um, yeah, I really like the deco on her and that armor. The different, you know, color shades. The, the green in the armor pieces, like a metallic uh, emerald color, I want to say. She has her own unique shell. It's going to snap onto the back of the fur. A uh, new ma a head, a helmet, rather. But it doesn't look like it's removable, which is okay. Because it's kind of her own thing going there. It looks like they gave her a big side that came at Raphael. Now, I just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't fit her to me, but it is cool you get that because now I can equip my Raphael with two side um, weapons. So I'll have to equip her with a staff or something like that once I get her to package and flipping her around. Yeah, nothing special. Such shell snaps onto the back of her armor. And taking a look at the art, we have Castle Grayskull here, and here she is fighting that new uh, Merman variant, which is also going to be exclusive in a box set. And he also comes with a tail, which I can't wait to see. And lastly, we finally get Casey Jones, looking good. He comes with a lot of cool stuff. His new armor I like. Check out that face mask, the hockey steel shredder-like face mask. Um, now, I know he comes with a really cool head sculpt. I've seen images, but uh, yeah, it looks like it's something that belongs in a classics line, how good the detail is. Again, once I review him, we'll check it out. Looks like it comes with a Jitsu type hand. That's pretty neat. An axe, some type of new axe. It's like a whiplash spear. Um, some new armor. Uh, look, check out his hockey puck with the spines in the background. Translucent. Awesome. So, okay, so that steel thing. Okay, that's what that is. So that's just like his uh, weapon holder to hold all his 
all these different weapons and accessories it comes with. It looks like it comes with a samurai sword, a big hammer. All right, we said the hockey thing, the axe. Wow, they really done them up, I got to say. And here's the art with uh, Casey Jones fighting Mouse Jaw. We got the uh, sorceress in the background. Okay, so it was a quick look and tease of my uh, toy hauls today. Hope everybody enjoyed that. We just kind of went through the figures and card and took a quick look at the front and back, get an idea of what we're uh, getting involved in here. I got to say, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. I got a couple gripes, odds and ends with silly stuff, but aside that, yeah, they look awesome, and I can't wait to get the reviews on all of them. So I appreciate everybody watching. And until next time, take care.